Hello good people, this is Matt Fisher back with another exciting tutorial for you guys today as always and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to install Kodi on iOS. So we're at our computer right now, right now we're on our Mac but the process is going to be the same thing for Windows so what you're seeing me do here you can do on your Windows exactly the same, nothing needs to change. And before we begin there's a couple things that we need to do. We need to download two things and do something else. So let's talk about them. The first thing we need to do is download Cydia Impactor. Uh, this is a tool that's going to allow us to install IPA files and sign them and put them onto our iDevice. So we're going to need to download that. So just click whichever operating system you're using. The second thing we need to do is download the IPA file for Kodi Krypton. Uh, as the point of making this video, version 17 Krypton is the current stable version of Kodi. I think uh, Leia or Leah is in beta right now and that is the next version when that's released. I'll make an update video to this one or make a separate video for that. And the third thing we need to do is create a new Apple ID. We're going to need to use an Apple ID to sign this IPA file and you don't want to use your actual real one, so let's just make a fake one, use that. God forbid anything happens to it, or someone decides to investigate, for whatever reason, you're not using your actual Apple ID. So, once you have done all that, we can begin with the process. So, the first thing you want to do is connect your iDevice to your computer. So, I have my iPhone connected right now. Uh, and then you want to open up Impactor, Cydia Impactor. And all you want to do is take your IPA file and drag it into Cydia Impactor. And then it's going to ask you for your login. And in a couple seconds, it should install this onto our iPhone. And when this finishes, we can uh, cut over to there and I can show you guys that it worked. So we're at our iPhone right now, and as you can see, Cody did successfully install, uh, but there's actually one more thing we need to do before we can open it. So we're gonna need to go into settings, we need to go into general, you need to scroll down to profiles and device management, and then you should see an entry for your uh, developer app or the app that you just signed uh, with the Apple ID that we created. So if you tap on that, you can see that there is the app right there that we have signed with this certificate. You just want to click trust, trust again, and then we should be able to open up Kodi. And there we go. So I'll keep this tilted for you guys. So there you go, you can go ahead and add your sources that you want and link it up with your existing library or, or whatever have you set up with Kodi. But that is how you get Kodi running on iOS. But that's going to bring us to the end of today's video. If you get stuck on any step, feel free to drop me a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. And if anything in this video changes or something needs to be updated, because sometimes that can happen with these types of videos, uh, check the comments to see if there's a pinned comment from me updating you or saying if there's a step that changed or something like that. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click subscribe for more. But other than that, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and take care.